This is the amazing high torque thrill gun. The ingenious thrill incorporates an impact gun and a powerful precision torque multiplier in the same tool, combining lightning fast rundown with calibrated torque and raw power. The impact zips nuts on or off regardless of corrosion or minor thread flaws. Flip the stabilizer handle and the thrill becomes a powerful precision torque tool ready to break out fasteners or tighten them down. It does any bolting job faster, safer, and better than ever before, all in one tool. Unlike standard air impact wrenches, which hammer the bolt with uncontrolled force and high noise and vibration, the thrill gun is a precision torque multiplier which produces consistent and measured power on bolt after bolt without the vibration and the noise. Listen to the thrill in action. It is operated by a pistol grip trigger and features a directional control switch for tightening or loosening. A speed selection arm for high and low speeds and a safety switch to protect the operator from pinch danger. Let's see how the thrill gun works. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves, and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety items, such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical-resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and the general condition of the air regulator and tools for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. For optimum performance, the thrill gun needs a clean, dry air supply of 30 cubic feet per minute at 100 pounds per square inch. The supply hose should be connected to the input side of the pressure regulator assembly with any connector compatible with your air system. Connect the air hose to the output side of the regulator and snap on the thrill gun with a quick disconnect coupler. The air control assembly, or FRL, consists of a filter, a pressure regulator, and a lubricator. Do not operate the thrill gun without this FRL unit in the airline as serious damage to the tool will result. The job of the filter is to remove any debris or water from the air supply. The filter can be drained as needed with the valve on the bottom. The regulator meters input air pressure accurately controlling the torque output of the tool. The lubricator's job is to introduce a fine mist of oil into the airstream to lubricate and protect the internal parts of the tool against corrosion or damage. Depress the detent and twist the clear plastic reservoir to remove it. Fill it to the indicator mark with a quality air tool oil. With air flowing to the tool, you will be able to see drops of oil form inside the clear plastic knob on top of the lubricator. Unscrewing this knob increases the oil flow, and screwing it in decreases the oil drops. Adjust the flow to approximately one drop every 10 seconds. The genius of the thrill gun is its built-in dual speed capability that is controlled by simply and quickly shifting the speed selection arm from high speed rundown to low speed torquing power and back again. Depress the detent and rotate the arm up into the handle position. When you do so, a cam locks the tool into the high speed position. In the high speed mode, the socket rotates at several hundred revolutions per minute, but torque is limited, so the tool cannot spin or kick back in the operator's hands. Rotating the arm down into the plane of the socket locks the tool into the low speed mode, and the arm becomes the reaction point for torquing. In this power position, the arm cannot spin at high speed. Now let's put the system into action. Let's suppose that the job at hand is to tighten these inch and a half B7 studs with 2 and 3 eighths nuts to 585 foot-pounds of torque using the dual speed thrill gun. Since the turning force of the tool is determined by the air pressure supplied, we must consult the pressure torque conversion chart for our specific tool 
to find out how much pressure to apply. Looking down the foot-pound column, we find 584 foot-pounds corresponds to 50 psi. With the tool on a stable surface, turn on the air supply and adjust the incoming air pressure up to 50 psi by turning the regulator knob. Always set pressure from lower to higher on the gauge. With the tool in high speed mode, we are ready to run down all the nuts. The studs and nuts should be clean and free running before any turning force is applied. By the way, only high grade impact sockets should be used with the thrill gun. Never use chrome or manual grade sockets as they could shatter causing serious injury. Never use an oversized socket as this can also be dangerous. Always pin the socket onto the drive. Flip the speed selection arm into the torquing position by rotating it into the plane of the nut. Engage the nut and position the arm against the next nut over, keeping in mind that the arm will turn counterclockwise as the socket turns clockwise. In order to protect the operator from inadvertently having his hands in the danger zone near the socket, the tool will not operate in the low speed power position until the safety lever switch at the rear of the tool is depressed and held. Never touch the reaction arm or the reaction surfaces while the tool is running. Hold the trigger in until the tool stalls and will no longer advance the socket. You have applied 585 foot-pounds of torque to that nut and every nut will get the same tightening force until you change the pressure on the regulator. Your bolting plan may require tightening and increasing steps. If that is the case, simply adjust the air pressure accordingly for each step. It is always a good practice to make a final check pass on all nuts because tightening one may change the achieved load in its neighbor. To remove the nuts, Reverse the process, this time beginning in low speed power mode with the speed selection arm in the lowered position. Since we don't care about achieving a specific torque value, turn up the air pressure to at or near its maximum, giving the tool its full power. Shift the directional control to the loosened side. Apply the wrench and position the reaction arm against the next nut, keeping in mind that the arm will now move clockwise opposite the direction of the socket. Depress the safety lever and proceed to loosen all the nuts until they can be turned by hand. Shift the arm to the high speed position and proceed to run off all the nuts. And there you have it. The Thrill Gun, the fastest, most versatile pneumatic torquing tool on the planet. Please call your local representative and ask him for a demonstration on your applications and let you take it for a test drive.